Hey, hola, buenos días, ¿cómo están? Okay, so la, the lesson for today is going to be about cognates, cognados. Cognates is the word in English. So uh, what are cognates? Cognates are words that are similar or identical and have the same meaning in two languages, okay? So um, what do we study cognates? We study cognates because... By studying cognate patterns, we can learn to develop a great ability to understand a second language. Linguistics um, estimate that 30 to 40 percent of English words have their Spanish cognate. Our lesson for today is going to be a few rules that we can um, that can help us translate those words from English to Spanish in an easy way. Most of these words are gonna have a similar ending. Uh, sometimes you can also just change the, the ending. Sometimes it changes only the pronunciation of the word. For example, in this rule, rule number one, words that end in A-L in English also end in A-L in Spanish. And most of those words are gonna be identical they are also going to have the same meaning. When the words do not have the same meaning but are similar or identical, those are false cognates. And we will talk about that, that later. Okay, so in this case, we have words that end in A-L. For example, we have the word animal, and the Spanish is going to be animal. Okay, so it only changes the pronunciation. And that's what we're going to be learning at the beginning of this class. We're going to be learning letter sounds and phonics, okay? So listen, the English word animal, the Spanish word animal, actual, actual, conditional, conditional, professional, professional, impartial, imparcial, national, nacional, ideal, ideal. Okay, so most of these words are going to have the stress on the last syllable. Another rule would be words that in English end in T-I-O-N, your shown words, okay? Most of these words, I would say 98% of these words are going to be super similar and they're going to have the same meaning. The only thing that changes is the T in the ending, right? Sean, you have T-I-O-N. In Spanish, that ending is going to change to Sion, C-I-O-N. So the T changes into C, and the O will have the accent mark or tilde, okay? All those words will have the stress and the strongest intonation at the end. So listen. So the English word is action. The Spanish word is acción. So notice that all the words have the accent on the O. Continuation, continuación. Contribution, contribución. Definition, definición. Discrimi discrimination, discriminación. Election, elección. Evaluation, evaluación. Information, información. Okay? So tomorrow we're going to work on other rules and on false comments. Okay? Nos vemos mañana. Chao.